Okay, I hope this will help out a lot. This is working with audio files that actually have different tempos. What we have to do is time stretch them and it's not as hard as it, it might sound. So what I've done, these are uh, from Music Radar. I downloaded dance, urban, pop samples, and then I open the beats folder here in my files menu in the browse in Studio One. And so I set my tempo at 110 for my project. And the problem I want to show, and then I want to show some solutions here, is there is a time um, stretching issue. The reason why is this. If I click on any one of these, it doesn't tell me anything about the tempo. Now let me go to an included loop. If I click on a loop, it does tell me right here the tempo has been written as metadata, basically, into the file. The loops that are provided in the DAW and other loops that you can download at different places can actually have the tempo there. How does that happen? Well, in the song menu, if we were to export the mix down or export stems, most DAWs, not all, will have this right tempo to audio file. This is automatically checked, at least in Studio One. And that is a very important one. Okay, so I highly, highly recommend that that's, that's checked. And again, that's going to write the tempo to any audio files you export. And I did stems, but it's the same thing if I, whoops, if I go to export mix down, I want to write the tempo to the audio files. Now, oftentimes when you get samples that are too loud, this is your window to audition them in. And this is your volume control for those things. So if I play this, it's playing. And first of all, I could turn it up. Turn, if I turn it up too high, it's going to um, be too much. And if I want to look at my mix window to see about where it is, um, it's still a little hot. So I might back it down around negative 12-ish. Okay, so this right here is playing it at the song's tempo. So it's already lining things up to the tempo. And that's cool if you want to play it along with something else. Um, this is putting it on a loop. If I take the loop off, it plays on one time and I'm done. Okay, And let me hit stop. So I could just go down through each of these and listen, listen, listen. What I want to do is find some that are different tempos. Now, even though they didn't write the tempos to these because it's not showing up, they did you a big favor. They told you what these were actually at when they made them. And that just tells me that when they exported them, they didn't have the option to write the tempo to them. So they put the tempo in the file name, which is a great idea. So I'm going to start with, well, I'm just going to grab ones that uh, are different. I'm going to grab five. So here's one that's 100. Notice that it's it's definitely not lining up. If I turn the metronome on, uh, okay, you can hear the click. It's just not lining up, and it, it, here's bar one, bar two, and it's hanging over. So that's never good. Um, now I'm going to grab one that is around the tempo that I have, which is around 110. So I'm just searching for, and it doesn't have to be, I'm not even listening to them right now. Um, that one's going to, now I have snap on by the way as well. That one is going to fit nice. Why? Because it's the exact same tempo. So that one I don't have to do anything to, but uh, as I move on here, so here's one that's 127. It's not going to quite line up. As you could see here, we've got some issues going on already. Um, what have I not done? Here's one that's 120. And see again how it's different. And let's see, I think I saw one that was 130. Okay, so I've got five files here. That's not going to be good. Well, there are many ways to fix this. One way is this. So each of these files, this one says it is 100 BPM. If you right click and you say, listen, this file right here is 100. So I'm gonna say it's 100, okay? And hit enter, it automatically snapped it because I had snap on into place. It time stretched it for me. Sweet, right? So I right clicked and I said, hey, the file temple's 100. I could also do that over here 
in the um, inspector view, if you scroll down, sometimes you got to pull this way up, by the way. And if you're on this track, it will say file temp. Let me go to another one. This one says it's not set. Now, even though it's 110, I want to go ahead and set it. That time when I go to use it again, I don't have to do this again. So 110. And what it's going to remember is that metadata, okay? Next is uh, this one here, 127. But uh, that's that's one way. And I'm showing you these and they're snapping. And I'm going to undo that because I want to show you another way. It is important to note that as I'm doing this, time stretch up here where it says tempo is on. Time stretch meaning that it's going to stretch. You shouldn't really change that, okay? And for each one of these, that's what that's set on. And again, you have to often pull all these up to even see the file tempo. That's why I like to just right click. So what are the other ways to do this? Well, if I hold Alt or Option, and in, in fact, let me zoom in here to large. This one right here is 127, and I'm at 110. Notice I just have my mouse. I'm going to hold Alt or Option, and I get not just a little arrow, but there's a little metronome type or clock there. And if I click and hold, I can time stretch to the left, to the right, speed up, speed down. What that's doing is basically the same thing as using this speed up, this tool right here. Only it's letting me do it in basically real time. It's letting me do it pretty smooth. I recommend having snap on because it'll snap to whatever your quantized settings are. So again, hold alter option while you've got your mouse, click and hold and drag. And you could go both ways that way. That is a couple different ways to get what you want. I still recommend making sure if they put, they went to the trouble to put 127 BPM, you should do that here. Okay, put it in there. Now, because of that, this needs to go back to uh, one, to original. For me, I simply just go through, I don't, I don't even waste my time, to be honest, holding Alt and doing the time stretching unless I absolutely have to. Instead, I just right click and I put the file tempo in. This one's at 120, okay? And then that way I don't have to mess with speeding things up or slowing things down. Although that could be a fun thing to do for other reasons. That would be something for you to play with. So find five different samples and there's there's a ton here and set your tempo you'll want to stretch those now this one i didn't have to stretch but i did have to assign the file tempo to it i hope you enjoyed this recording on how to time stretch and line up your audio samples so you can make some awesome music line them up to the grid use those bars and bar lines and if you like this please hit like and share and subscribe thank you have a good day and go make some music